Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another Fight of the Night review. This is for the Fight of the Night UFC Fight Nights um, Anderson, Bla Anderson vs. Blachowicz 2, or Blaskovich, or however you want to pronounce it, at the uh, at the Santa Ana, Santa Ana Star Center in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. The first time that the UFC has ever got to Rio Rancho. But the Fight of the Night we're going to be talking about is on the prelim card between Jim Miller and Scott Hot Sauce Holtzman. And you already know I like Scott Holtzman because his nickname is Hot Sauce, and that gives me joy. For some reason. Anyway, so yeah, as always, we're going to go through the fight bit by bit. I'm going to tell you the best of what I can remember, and if I liked it or not. Spoiler alert, I really did. So the fight starts with both men, both men, both men basically meeting in the middle, and um, they trade a good couple of shots. Then Holtzman goes for a body kick, and Jim Miller kicks his leg out from under him and sort of gets a trip on him. Um, Scott Holtzman doesn't stay down for long, he gets up really quickly, but Jim Miller is on him really quickly, and then this sort of becomes this weird exchange. Holtzman is pressing more, but Jim Miller is landing bigger shots, and um, this is sort of how it goes for the first half of round one, and it's a really good like exchange between the two, but eventually something just snaps in Holtzman, and he starts actually like finding a way to land his own stuff. He starts finding his groove at about the halfway point. Um... I don't remember which, if it's round one or, or round two, I know it's not round three. But there is a moment where Holtzman goes for a spinning elbow of sorts, and Jim Miller manages to counter that with a takedown. I think it might be round two. In round, three, in round one, though, which is what we're talking about for the moment, Holtzman, like, he manages to land some shots, he manages to get a good clinch on, Jim lands some good shots from inside that as well. And uh, he just kept landing bigger and bigger punches, and... Uh, <clears throat> You know, eventually the round does close out when it was like starting to get super exciting as well in a fight that was up until that point honestly quite exciting. It was a very back and forth first round and um, it is difficult to call. I think Holtzman pulls away with it mostly because of how he was doing at the end. Um, personally, like Jim Miller's early like go was really good, but Scott managed to slightly edge him out. Even though J Jim definitely did, he got the better of round one, but I still sort of give it a favor to Holtzman. Round 2 was sort of the same story with a bit more grappling. I think round 2 was the one where Holtzman went for a spinning elbow of sorts and Jim Miller managed to counter that with a takedown. Um, yeah, well, like I mentioned, that was the same story. Holtzman pressing, Jim Miller landing the better shots. Scott Holtzman does land a big one that does rock Jim and send him back against the cage. And he tries to follow up, and obviously I mentioned several times now, spinning back elbow. Jim counters that with a takedown. And in sort of a reversal to round one, where it was Jim for the first half and Scott for the second, in round two, Scott for most of the first half and then Jim for the second, because after he gets that takedown, he goes for the back, and, like, Holtzman shows really good defense here, because if Jim had get, gotten at any point, like, higher on the back, he would have definitely sunk in a choke, I think. And Jim Miller is, like, he's a, he's a beast when it comes to his, like, his chokes. He's got fantastic jujitsu, but... Holtzman managed to, like, defend it, he didn't panic, he kept his cool, he kept the wrist control, managed to break away from Jim, and turned it into a stand-up war again, and he started to pull away with it a bit more in round two. Round three was definitely mostly all Holtzman. Um, he started landing big shots, um, like, the the war from, like, the middle of round two was starting to bleed into round three as well, that both men were landing a lot of shots. And near the end of round three, sort of like as a callback to round one, Scott went for another kick, but Jim managed to like trip him by kicking out his other leg. It was a nice little sort of throwback, even that wasn't intentional. I thought it was really cool to have seen that happen. But yeah, Holtzman definitely started getting the better of round three. He was doing better in the clinch. He managed to like back Jim up a lot more. He landed some really good shots. Jim still showed nice counters, like in round two, where he countered an uppercut with a really good left of his own. He still showed good counters. Um... It's arguable that his face was more busted up than Scott's was. It wasn't a super bloody fight, but there was a moment between rounds two and three where, like, Scott looked fresher and Jim looked a bit more knackered. And Jim, like, behind his left ear, I think there was a cut on his left ear, because the cut man did, like, great work around the main damaged area, which was his left eye. And, uh, but there, was, there might have been something behind his left ear, probably. We don't know what. But, um... Point is, Jim Miller is still son of the gun anyway, so he was able to, like, you know, he was able to find a way out of it. Um, but yeah, round three was definitely mostly Holtzman. Landed bigger shots, started to, like, pull away more with the fight. I think he landed a takedown in round three. Um, there wasn't a lot of wrestling in this match. I, I like that it was mostly a stand-up war, but he had enough wrestling and quite a chunk of clinch work in it. 
And honestly, even though I've like skimmed over quite a lot of the fight and I didn't really mean to, I did enjoy this fight. I thought this was really good, on par with uh, last week's uh, one. Was it last week or the week before? Either way, it's the last time I reviewed the fight tonight. It's on par with that. I really enjoyed this one. Scott Holtzman did get the unanimous, unanimous decision win, and, and I have no complaints about that, but one judge did give him all three rounds, which I think was a tad a tad bit unfair, personally. I like, I think 29-28 all across the board would have been good. I don't think it was all 30-27 for him. Like, well, not all 30-27, only one judge gave it that. But that judge, yeah, don't know what they're doing, I don't think. But yeah, all in all, this was, um, this is still a super enjoyable fight. I recommend it. It's definitely worth seeking out and going to find. So, yeah, all in all, really liked it. Really liked it. Really glad Scott Holtzman won. And no surprise that him and Jim Miller were able to put on a great contest together because they're both really good at what they do and people underestimate the pair of them quite a lot. And I don't like that when that happens, but yeah, all in all, solid, solid stuff. And, uh... Don't really have a lot else to say that isn't rambling or ranting. Well, not ranting, because I have to be angry to do that. I'm not angry. I'm happy, mostly. <laughs> but yeah, um, sorry I didn't really cover as much of this fight as I wanted to. I just covered the bits mostly that I can remember, and I do wish I could remember more of this. I, I know I liked it, at least, so... But yeah, it, it was it was really good. Really good moments from both men. Really good counters from Jim, really good stepping forward from Scott. Really good shit. The next thing I'll see you for, though, on Tuesday night is um, next PPW stream, the last one before the first pay-per-view break-even dose, which is going to take place in, I believe, Sacramento, California, because, you know, it's a wrestling e-fed, no one really cares where it takes place, but it, will, it needs a place, so I'll see you for that, and then probably the next Fight of the Night review, if there is one next week. Is there a fight card next week? Uh, February 23rd, so that'll probably come out Monday then, most likely. <clears throat> yeah, no, that works for me. But yeah, um, I'm not going to see you for backtracking before then, because it's a two-part episode, and those usually take longer, and Arch Enemy of ten albums, and I've only written about one, so <laughs> I've got to get to work on that. But uh, yeah, next thing I'll see you for will definitely be the next PBW stream. And as always, thank you for watching, you're awesome. Bye-bye.